Hi, so in this first experiment, you're going to study uncertainty in your measurements. On the example of measuring the volume of two objects, one of them is going to be a metal plate, and another one is a hollow cylinder. You're going to use three measuring devices. You're going to use a ruler that has 10 divisions. So this is one meter long ruler, has 10 divisions. You're going to use a half centimeter divisions, and you're going to use the millimeter division on this ruler. Then you will use the uh, micrometer. This is a metric micrometer that measures from 0 to 25 millimeters with a resolution of 0 0.01 millimeter. And you will use a vernier caliber. We are going to use a top scale here, metric scale. So before you proceed with any measurements, you need to learn how to use these two devices. I'm suggesting to watch the video on how to read the vernier caliber and how to read metric micrometer. It is also important when you close the jaws on this uh, vernier caliber here to see that the zero on the vernier scale and zero on the main scale are aligning. That means that your zero reading is zero. You don't have to add or subtract anything. Also for the metric micrometer, when you close this here, you need to look at this zero here to align with this main scale here. I'm showing you here an example of the micrometer that doesn't have the zero reading. So here there is a 0 0.04 millimeters offset, so you will need to either add or subtract this value from your actual measurement. In this case, because it's a negative re reading, you will have to add this value to your measurement. Not all micrometers in the lab have the same offset. Some of them have zero offset, so please make sure you look at yours at your table. Okay, so the first part of the experiment is we are going to measure the volume of the uh, metal plate using different measuring instruments. So first you're going to measure the length using the uh, meter that's divided into 10 parts. So you're going to place it here. And then the idea here is you have 20 centimeters and something. So you're going to guess this last part. So for example, I'm guessing here, this is 22 centimeters long. Then your lab partner will, will look here and will say, well, this is 23 centimeters long. So you're going to do the five measurements, find the mean, and then find the standard deviation of the mean. The uncertainty of this instrument here is the 10% of the smallest accurate measurement that you can do. So in this case, you can measure 10 centimeters. So as uncertainty for this part of measurement is 10% of 10 centimeters, which is one centimeter. Okay, then you're going to measure the width using meter with one half centimeter division, like this. So here I see that this is five point something, but it's not 5.5. So let's say I'm going to say this is 5.2 millimeters. So look between you and your lab partner, find the five measurements, again, mean, standard deviation of the mean, and then uncertainty. So here we are measuring uh, 0 0.5 centimeters is the smallest value that you can measure. So uncertainty is going to be 10% of that value. Then we are going to measure thickness using the micrometer. Just open micrometer like this. place sit here and then close it when you close it don't make it too tight close it and then read the value make sure you add or subtract your offset again five times find the mean and then standard deviation of the mean uncertainty of this instrument is given here is the smallest value that you can read and it's 0 0.01 millimeters okay then you're going to measure the length using the meter scale divided into millimeters. Again, so here measure the length. So now I'm getting here that this is 22.7 millimeters. Again, look between you and your lab partner, find the five measurements and then uncertainty. This is a one millimeter, so it's a 0 0.1 
centimeters, and then uncertainty is going to be 10% of that. Then you're going to measure the width using the vernier caliber, find the reading, write down the values, find the mean, standard deviation of the mean. So the smallest value we can measure with this vernier caliber is to 0 0.02 millimeters, and that would be your uncertainty. You may have a vernier caliber that measures 1 over 50, or 1 over 20, so it's either 0 0.02 millimeters or 0 0.05 millimeters uncertainty. Then, in your table here, you have labeled case 1, 1, and 1, so you're going to use these three dimensions to measure the volume, and then you're going to use these three dimensions to measure the volume for the case 2, and then find uncertainty in volume using the equations from the theory part. So whenever you have a free space, you need to show all your work. Whenever you're doing any calculations in physics, you need to show your work and you need to include units. Okay, the last part of this experiment is you're going to you measure the volume of this hollow cylinder. So you're going to measure the outer diameter, outer radius, outer length, inner length, inner diameter, and inner radius. It is asking you here to use to state which instrument you used. I'm suggesting you use the more precise instruments, which are vernier caliber and uh, micrometer. So you can measure with the micrometer outer diameter. You can measure, you can calculate outer radius dividing diameter by two. You can measure outer length with uh, vernier caliber. You can't measure it with micrometer because micrometer measures to 25 millimeters only. Then to measure inner length, you're going to use this end of the vernier caliber. Here, and then do the reading. And then to measure inner diameter, you're going to use this side of the vernier caliber. Open, and then measure the reading. Record down your reading, and then calculate inner radius. You're going to do every measurement five times, calculate the mean, standard deviation of the mean, and then uncertainty for each instrument that you used, and state which instruments you used. You're going to show all your calculations on the next page and then calculate the outer volume, the inner volume of this uh, cylinder, and then you're going to calculate the volume of the metal. You can calculate uncertainty of the outer volume, uncertainty of the inner volume, and uncertainty of the outer metal. Here is important to remember, the volume of the metal is going to be outer minus inner volume, but the uncertainty of the volume of the metal is not going to be uncertainty of the outer volume minus uncertainty of the inner volume. It's going actually to be this uncertainty plus this one. Okay, so now when you're done and you showed all your work, uh, you're going to answer these two questions and you will be done. If by watching the video, you couldn't refresh yourself on how to read vernier caliber and micrometer, your TA will go around and teach each and every one of you individually how to read these two instruments, or just give you a refresher course. It is important that you know how to read these instruments, simply because uh, on your first quiz, you will be given a picture of the reading of one of these, and you will have to know how to read the values. Okay, so that's it for this week.